Tonight, the management and staff of this station would like to take this opportunity to respond to the allegations that we here at Channel 7 have been making up the news. In the field of journalism, there is no... In the field of journalism, there is no more serious allegation that a journalist has been tampering with the veracity of facts in an on... <laughs> This just in. Tonight, two clearly insane people broke into a wig store today and stole two wigs. This just in. Two clearly insane people broke into a stable tonight and stole two donkeys. You know, folks, as a professional journalist, I have to wonder if these stories are related. So, you're the two lounge singers. Yes, we all prick. <laughs> Those wouldn't happen to be your donkeys outside, would they? Why, no. I mean, we might have stolen them, but that doesn't make them our donkeys, does it? So, did you get us the piano player that we requested? Yeah, he's up there on stage. Does he have a piano? Yeah, it's that, that big thing in front of him. Well, does he have fingers? Yes, he does. Good. Introduce us or die. Yes. I love him. But I love him. Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to the pre-show part of the show. Leave. I hope you're enjoying the pre-show part of the show. And now that the show is about to begin, I hope that you'll enjoy the show part of the show. And when that's over, I think your favorite part of the show will be the describing the show to the police part of the show. <laughs> Our first act are a couple of guys who... Sisters! We're a couple of sisters! <laughs> of course, are a couple of lovely sisters who want you to know that they are in fact lounge singers and not two clearly insane people. Leave. Ladies and gentlemen, one hand clapping against the other makes a very nice sound for Sizzler and Sizzler. Good evening, pricks. I'm Jerry Sizzler, and this is my sister. Jerry Sizzler. We, of course, are two loud singers. And not two clearly insane people. No. No. Ah! What the hell is he doing on stage? Get the hell off our stage, prick! We could kill you with our bare hands. Yes. <laughs> Sizzler and Sizzler is an a cappella act. We perform alone whenever we perform. And this is our first time. Wrong. <gasps> Wrong. 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 One, two, three, four. Tie a yellow ribbon round the herb oak trees. It's been three long years. Sing, you pricks! Is chilling, and I can't believe I see. Whoa. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, come for us to mount our donkeys and leave. For you are beginning to bore our clearly deranged mind. Wrong! Oh, wrong! 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 wrong. Oh, look who happens to be in the crowd tonight. The famous and wonderful Roy Orbison! Give him a big uh, Maybe he'll come up on stage and give him a little encouragement. Give him come on, Roy! Roy. Come on! Roy. Give him a little hand! Roy. It's working! Roy. 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 aerobics really paid off, not to mention the dieting. I find that if I eat fruits and vegetables at appointed meal times, I'm not tempted to pick and nibble between meals like I used to. I think a bikini could be a girl's friend. All you have to do, Cal, Ladies and gentlemen, is get into a regime there's been a mistake. Apparently the judges forgot to notice something, and what they failed to notice were her hips. <laughs> Now let's dethrone our short-lived queen and crown the new Miss Canadian from Brampton, Kathy Strupp. Don't take my roses. Those are my roses. Can I have those roses back? Great, you're awake. What happened? Don't you remember? You had a fistful of those nut clusters, then you must have had a sugar rush and passed out. I think I remember. It was either that or the decaf. Decaf? Is someone trying to kill us? Don't worry. It'll never happen again. Will it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I dreamt I had a pig nose. Oh? Oh? <laughs> Isn't that a horribly ridiculous thing? Yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous. oh, it's inconceivable. <laughs> I really need to speak to you in my office. Yes, you do. <laughs> ah, Kath, mm -hmm. you don't think I have a pig nose, do you? No. No, I don't. No, 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 no. You know what I think, Kathy? I think that what's happening is that your face is so human that it makes your small nose seem a picky. Not even picky pug. 
pug-like. You have a pretty pug nose. Thanks. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah. Okay, back to work. T-G-I-N-P. What? What's that? Thank God I'm not a pig. Oh. <laughs> Out, would you? Okay. Hey, you know that Glenda? I think she likes me. What do you think? I don't know. Wait, you don't think she likes me? I said I don't know. Well, I think she likes me. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? I'm doing nothing. What's that? What, this? Yeah. The cigarette? Yeah, the cigarette. What about it? <laughs> You're not allowed to smoke in the subway. <laughs> it's not lit. I'm not smoking. Take it out of your mouth. Tony, I'm not smoking. It's not lit. Take it out of your mouth. I'm not... Forget it. No way. Take it out of your mouth. Tony, no. Forget it. What? You're not going to take it out of your mouth. Tony, look. Look. Mm -hmm. See? No smoke. It's not lit, all right? I'm not smoking. <laughs> so what'd you do that for? You're not allowed to smoke in the subway. Tony, I wasn't, for Christ's sake. Go pick it up. What? Pick it up. You threw it out of my mouth, man. You're not allowed to litter on the subway. <laughs> What's up your ass? What's going into you? You're up my ass. You gonna pick it up? No. Are you nuts? <laughs> you gonna pick it up? Up yours. <laughs> Look, Tony, stop it, okay? Or what? Nothing. Tony, I'm warning you. Or what? Just nothing, okay? <laughs> Tony. Oh, 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 oh. Now, come on, man, you made me. Tony, stop it! Come on, man! What are you doing this for? What are you... Stop it! Tony, stop it! Come on, man! What are you doing this for? What are you... What are you... I'm gonna go through! I'm gonna go through! I'm taking that! I will! <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Tiger, calm down. <laughs> I never hurt you, you jerk. Maybe next time you listen to me, right? You're crazy, you know that, Tony? Yeah. Go pick it up. <laughs> All right, yeah, look at it. Look at it. Yeah, there, yeah, I'm picking it up. Look, you're happy now? Delirious, give it here. Give me the smoke. Just for a second. <laughs> Tony, what are you doing? Tony, Tony, that's my last cigarette. Don't do that to me, Tony. Tony, you hypocrite. Never you said I was. Yeah, well, give me the cigarette. Come on, come on Tony, don't. Give me the cigarette, man. Give it to me. leaving seven sailors stranded by the road. Also in the news tonight, Canada breaks into little tiny pieces. So, Don, this green line represents our product, and the other green lines represent the competitor's product. So what we've got here, basically, is a case uh -oh. of... Uh-oh. Hmm? See, it's kind of hard to read because all the lines are green. Yeah. What I would have done is used some different colors for the different lines. Uh, then it would have been a lot easier to read. Oh, geez, you're right. God, geez, you know, Don, that's probably why you're in the big comfy chair, huh? <laughs> well, you work hard, Harris. Maybe someday you'll have a chair like this, too. Uh, yeah. Now, I tell you one thing. When these guys from these come in, don't even show them that graph. They won't understand it. What you got to do is just look them straight in the eye, but not, well, would you like a Kleenex? Uh, no. Fine. These guys are brass, man. They're old brass, but they're not tarnished. They're not stupid. They don't have those thick Don, hands that... I hate to interrupt you, but, uh... Did you have a cucumber sandwich for lunch? No. I had a cucumber salad a couple of days ago. I see. Okay, I get it. You see, because you got a little tiny piece of food... Oh, you're off a Oh. <laughs> okay. These guys are brass, man. They're old brass, but the oh, thing that... I hate to interrupt you again, but you missed it. What? Well, the crumb's still there, you see. Oh. Uh, that crumb there, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah. 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 No. 
Still there, Don. I didn't get it. No. Oh, these mustaches, yeah. you know. The women love them. They go crazy for them when they collect food like a food place. Yeah. There we go. It's still there. I didn't get it. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Afraid not. Yeah. Well, there was these guys from the East, you know. I was like, yeah. Nope. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. Right you down there. Got right down there. You got her? There it is, right down oh, there. Oh, you got her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I sure. got that. Still there. <laughs> yeah, somehow, how's that? Jeez, Don. You know, you almost got it, then you missed it completely. <laughs> you got her, Don? There she there is. You go. That's there it. There she you are, is. Don. There the she is. You are, Don. I got her. Not Don. Bingo. Yeah, jeez, Don. No, not quite. Yeah, <laughs> still there. Stop it. Don. Don, 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 Don. It's above your waist. What? It's above your waist. It's just a little tiny piece of food right there on your upper lip. Where? It's right here, Don. Let me show you. Right uh, here, on your upper lip. Yeah. There you go, Don. Don. Yeah. No. no. I get it? No, Don. Think of me as a mirror, okay? Right here, above the lip. Lower, lower. No, no, Don. Left, right. No, no, Don. On the face. Got right it. Here. That's not it. Well, what's that then? That's something else. Ah! Don, you're thinking about it too much, okay? Let's relax. Let's cool out. Let's start fresh from the beginning, as if this never happened. So, what I'm talking about with these green lines is our product, and... <laughs> I didn't get it. Don, I really want you to get this. Me too. <laughs> Not even close. Yeah! <laughs> Go for it, Don! <laughs> I got it, right? <laughs> you got it, Don. Yeah, that's what I thought. So when these guys get in here, the first thing you gotta know is... You got a little stain in your shirt there. Where? Right there. Where? Right there. Right there. Right there. There it is again, the same shot. A beautiful woman waiting for a geeky band at the end of the show. Why don't they show the reality? Why don't they show a, a, a big fat roadie with a gut and a t-shirt that's really small moving an amp? You know, and the thing that bugs me is that these record companies keep pumping these- Aren't you these... going to answer your phone? Uh-huh. No, I'm not expecting a phone call. These record companies keep making these- Well, that's sort like... of the way the phone works. I mean, they, people don't book a call, they just call and then you answer it. So would you answer the phone? Why don't you answer the phone? I'm not going to answer another man's phone. That'd be like sleeping with another man's woman. I mean, that phone call, no matter how attractive, is not for me. You answer it. 23 rings. Somebody must want to talk to you pretty bad. I never let a phone ring 23 times. No, me either. Guys, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. No one ever calls me at 2.30 in the afternoon. Until now. <laughs> Maybe it's an emergency. Yeah, do you ever think of that? Huh? Oh, come on, don't start that. It's it's probably just a wrong number, guys. Oh. Well, maybe it's a very wrong number. 42 rings. What kind of freak is sitting there by that phone? <laughs> or maybe it's a group of crazies huddled around a speakerphone. Ooh. Answer the phone. Come on, answer the answer phone. The phone. Answer please. the phone. Guys, all right, it's just a phone call. Wait, what? listen! What? There's something wrong with that ring. Yeah, there's something clinging and desperate about that ring. Like, I bet it's probably some shut-in with the phone strapped to his head for an emergency. And for some reason, he dialed your number with his toes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Why would he dial my number? I don't know. 65 rings. What kind of freak is sitting there by that phone? The sound reverberating in his head. Standing shoeless in the rain. Waiting. waiting. Come on, guys. Yeah. It's not raining. It might be. Wherever he's calling from. Or they. Or it. Okay, I'll just answer it. Okay. <laughs> ah! Ah! Jeez. 80 rings, 5 knocks. What kind of bizarre scum sucker? Guys, 
I'm just gonna answer the door, all right? It's just a door, right? It's just a door. It's just a door, after all. Relax. I'm your neighbor. Why won't you guys answer your phone? It's driving me nuts. We think it might be a madman from a place with a rainy climate. Yeah. Wait. I've heard that ring before. In Vietnam. The teacher. But maybe I can answer it now. Yeah, yeah. You can do it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! Look! The fish won't go near you. They know something's wrong with that phone call. Answer the phone, prick. Answer the phone, prick. My sister and I are telephone solicitors. And not too clearly insane people. Yes. But you see, your subscription to Floor Covering Weekly has expired. And you will expire too. Hey, viewers. Did you know that you've been watching The Phone Show? That's right, a Kids in the Hall theme show based loosely around the telephone. So what'd you think? Well, if you did think something, give us a call at the number below. Because as incentive, one of the callers will be selected to win, at random, the Touch Paul Bellini contest. That's right, we'll deliver our guy to your home or place of work so that you can touch Bellini. Whether you hug him, pinch him, or just stand a few feet back and poke at him with a stick, you'll be spending quality time with an interesting physical specimen. So call us now, because we do have operators standing by. Call now. Call often. Unless, of course, this is a rerun. In which case, I wonder if I'm dead. <laughs> Attention, citizens. Phone this number right now. If you are one of the first 100 callers, your name could be drawn and you could be the lucky winner. Paul Bellini will then fly to your hometown where you will be videotaped touching Paul Bellini. So phone right now and see yourself on an upcoming episode of the Kids in the Hall show, Touching Bellini.